So let's see if we wanted to change this into ECS, what should we be doing? First of all, keep in mind I am on 2018.1, uh, 0.6, I believe. Yeah, 0.6. Okay, and this gives us the package manager. We can go right on the package manager. If we select on all, let's go. We should be able to import our entities, is what I mean. Okay, install the entities. I'm going to pause this until it's done. Okay, and we're here. Let's close this. And we can see that we do get an error right away because we're going to have to change to be using the .NET for, for X. So to do that, we're going to go into project settings player and on the other settings, we need .NET for .X. And you click restart, it will restart the project and I'm going to be back when this, uh, when this is done. Okay, so we are here and this means we now have access to the entities. Let's collapse all of this. We don't necessarily need them. Uh, we're still going to keep a few things like, for example, this assigns on awake. It assigns the transform for the player and it also assigns the variable for the state manager. So we're still going to be using everything we have done so far with the scriptable objects and the observer pattern and scriptable variables. Okay, but just basically change the way the states and the actions run inside the state manager. So because we've imported the entities, uh, the entities package, we can just go over here and assign a game object entity. And when we hit play, it's going to show us how many systems this entity is affected by. But because we have already built the entire thing, we're not going to delete it. Well, at least not yet. We're not going to delete everything we have done so far just to be using the ACS. That wouldn't really... Uh, well, we could do that, but yeah, I say why bother? So we're going to make a hybrid uh, with ACS and, uh, well, you know, model behaviors. But we're also go going to do a cross hybrid with uh, the ACS, the mono behavior and the script of objects behaviors we have already done. So now we have like even more hybrid things. But yeah, you will see that the work we are going to have to do will be really minimal. So for now, let's just assign the game object entity and let's go write a system that will give us access to the state manager. Uh, what you need to know is that because we've already have uh, the way we were thinking it before and well after we did the refactor was that we have our data container in one place and based on what we have on that data container we're running our own uh, logic and our own actions so in a sense it's very very similar to how the ECS works okay it still has we still keep the you know the separation of concern principles so for us now this helps us and this cuts our work, the work we have to do by, by 90% because everything is already separated and everything is working. So, if we go into our script, let's create a new folder, let's call it systems and I'm going to go and assign a new, well, create a new system which I'm going to call update, update states system okay open it up open up visual studio uh, let's pause till this is open okay and we are here we don't need the boilerplate stuff and we can use because we have included the entities we can use the namespace for entities which means we can also include the component system and this will give you an error that you have to implement the abstract class. So we have the on update, and this is very really very similar to what we are, um, yeah, to basically all the other components you are using with mono behavior. But with this, you can also filter. You can even disable which systems you want to be running or not. Okay, so delete this, and 
because of the way we actually have done everything so far we can just simply create a struct let's call it data or states or state managers i guess whatever so let's just call it data so we're keeping it short in here inside our struct we're going to say and we're going to apply the we do have the namespace so we're going to have to first assign the state manager and let's just call it states okay then inside update this might not seem too much uh, you know this might not seem a lot of uh, optimized but keep in mind that the whole point of using the ECS and all stuff like that is that then Unity can turn it into my sim code into a much more optimized way and instead of having all your references wherever in your memory it's going to keep them all struct into and place them into you know into basically it's going to place them in order so it can access them much much more faster than having to find them from different places in memory so for each variable we can just say the entity get entities and we want to have entities that have the data struct we have above and this should be done over here okay don't confuse it with any other call for example find game objects and stuff like that it's much more optimized than all of that so let's just keep it like this okay so we have our entities which means this will get us any entity that in our case has the state manager inside so it means we can just say e dot states and we can access any variable we want over here we don't want any of those variables however so let's go open up our, our assets let's go into our scripts and let's go into our state manager and we don't want the start anymore we can access the init so i'm going to cut this and paste this down here and because we're not really going to be running the start i'm going to delete this well let's just comment it out and let's delete those two. okay so we have our init then instead of having a different fixed update and an update and i'm going to simply just keep the update for now and we if we have problems we're going to revert back to and see what we're going to do about fixed update but i'm simply going to comment out the fixed update and change this from public void to update to public void tick and i'm going to also pass the delta time which means we can just simply do d over here okay so that's pretty much it back to our update actions we can say e dot states dot tick and you can pass the time dot delta time but because this will be running all the state managers for all our states and time dot delta time is something universal so you can just say delta time dot delta time and just pass this over here so this will basically run any state manager that it finds it will run in the tick the state managers are something for us it's something that holds states and the states themselves hold actions okay this means whether we have enemies either we have players either we have multiplayer players or we either we have clients okay it still doesn't really affect anything else we were doing we're still under the same we still use the same principles we still use the same design patterns we still use everything we have just done the only thing that changed was that instead of using mono behavior to update uh, to run the update and fixed update and so on we're now using the entity component system okay we just made a system that updates our state manager and just does the tick and one more thing however we still need to run the init and of course we don't want to run the init on update so that means we just need to do protected override void 
and we can say on start running, on stop running, on create manager, on destroy manager. We don't actually need to even touch the manager at this point. So we're doing only very few things with it. So on start running, again, same thing. And this data, and instead of the tick, we can just say e dot the states dot init, and that's it. Okay, one more thing that we need to do is, and that's mostly because we are also well, of course, it's a preview, it's the entities are not really uh, perfect yet is I'm going to go and assign my animator because I was getting a null reference error when I was prototyping this and instead of showing it in the console it actually crashed the entire editor so I want to avoid that obviously which means I'm just going to hide this and I'm going to go and drag and drop my animator down on the controller okay minimize that Uh, drag and drop the animator down here okay clear and uh, we're still only going to be running the the systems for the entity component systems based uh, only for the state manager we're going to have to write one more and maybe do a lot more systems uh, for for running the mono actions we were using before okay so just keep that in mind, we're still hybrid and we are currently yeah, cross-hybrid or multi-hybrid, whatever uh, you want to call that, but everything works fine. Uh, I'm going to close this guy though, because he might have a few references that are going to confuse us right now. And on the controller though, however, you will see because we don't have either start or uh, update or fixed update, it keeps everything it's you basically can enable or disable it it just has it as a component that sits there and does nothing else okay so hit play and you will see that if we open this over here we see that there is a state uh, there is a system that actually uses the state manager we have over here and everything else works exactly as we had it before but it now uses a component system to update uh, all our different actions I'm with a mouse so it goes a little bit weird over here but as you can see everything works exactly as before a pro to this is that if we go onto our behavior editor we did you will see that it actually also we don't have to change anything else it also works with a uh, behavior editor which is really really cool okay and that is of course if we're creating from all of this we're still not really uh, we're not getting all the entire advantages we can get from the from ECS yet okay so it will need a few more changes in the long run but for now Either you decide you want to keep the ECS or you want to keep working the same way we were doing it before this. Uh, I'm going to leave it entirely up to you. I haven't decided yet uh, which one I'm going to do. I'm leaning towards keeping it on the, um, you know, on the regular thing we were doing it on model behavior rather than uh, on ECS for now, at least for this series because we have done so much, but because we've seen that we don't really have to, to change a lot so we did it under less than five minutes of course this video is a little bit longer than that because I had to explain all of this okay and yeah I'm not really going to worry that much about uh, keeping it with ECS later when it's out of the preview packages and there is a few more things uh, to do with all of that I'm going to, to switch it to ECS and do any changes we have to do so for now we can keep still working on all of these all of these things 
Okay, so here's one more thing. Uh, keep in mind that we still have everything that has to do with uh, the actions or the monio actions we are doing. We can close this actually. Uh, everything that has to do with them, you can obviously change them into and make their own entity component system so they will run their own actions and do all of these things. Okay, I have another series that is much more, uh, yeah, that well, that we basically need ECS to, to do over there, otherwise we wouldn't have any more. Uh, we, yeah, we wouldn't really have any any performance if we're doing it without ECS. Okay, so yeah, don't worry, we're going to cover ECS uh, a lot, just on another series, a lot more in depth that I'm going to do in the solve like series, at least until it's uh, until they are out of the preview package. But yeah, I have a lot of things planned and in store for for all the features we actually have in Unity. So let's finish with this part again. Decide if you want to follow, if you want to keep the way we update with ECS or mono behavior. I think I'm going to lean towards uh, mono behavior for now for this series. Okay, so it's a uh, entirely up to you about that. If you do go with the ECS, however, make different systems that handle your inputs, make different systems that handle, uh, you know, maybe the camera, how we move it around, do all of that. But just keep in mind that even the way we're just doing it over here, it still br it doesn't break uh, how ECS works. It just doesn't take the entire yeah, the entire uh, pros you can get from ECS because when we want to rotate, for example, our camera, we still have to access its. Uh, we still access the entire transfer component, so we still get a few more things that we don't need to. But yeah, that doesn't mean uh, we can uh, work with this. We still have a lot to do. Anyway. Let's keep it short. As always, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and if you like to see more stuff like this, more videos, and all those things, then consider supporting me on Patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things. I'll see you next time.